Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we start anything, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. Okay, now let's get started. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to create this look using only drugstore makeup and only drugstore brushes. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with primer. I'll be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I do have this big guy right there. So red. Last time I tried filming this, I only used the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. But it started breaking up on my chin. So, I love the Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal. But this is way too dark for me. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of a cocktail with both of these and see how it works. It's probably going to be too dark for me, but we're going to try it. So I did one full pump of the Milani and then like a little bit of the Pro Matte and I'm just going to mix that into the dish. Perfect palette by City Color. I tried it once before and I didn't like it, but I'm gonna give it another try. Maybe I just didn't know how to use it. I'm gonna go in with this peachy shade and just apply it under my eyes. And I'm going in with my finger to warm up the product. Did it do anything? Oh, it did. Huh. Do you see the difference? This is the Pro Conceal by Ellie Girl and the H Rewind Dark Circle Eraser by Maybelline. So first I'm going to go in with the LA Girl one. I'm just going to apply a little right under the eye. Don't want a lot of this because I think it really creases. I'm going to apply it just a little where I usually highlight. The reason I'm applying this concealer is because I want this one to be a little more creamier since this one is kind of drying, but I love the shade of it, and this one does not crease. the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powders and I got one in Fair and another one in Fair Light. I'll be using Fair to Bake. Oh. I don't know how I feel about it. It reminds me of the Air Spun one and I hated that one. But this one doesn't have that smell. And it's softer too. I look crazy. I'm gonna go in with the fair light one and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. That really did set my foundation. Like it's not wet anymore. That's what she said. So far, so good. I'm gonna do my contour while I bake. And I'm very excited about this one. The e.l.f. Total Face Palette. I don't remember the name of this. I think I threw away the packaging. It said it was new, I'm not sure if it is. I mainly got it because of the contour shade because I think that the contour is gonna look good on my skin tone. Packaging is so pretty. And then you open it. And that's 
what it looks like. And it has this huge mirror right here. And I want you to see my mess. We are going to contour with the Real Techniques contour brush. You have to be extra careful with that big ass guy. I don't want to move anything around it. We've been baking for you now, so I'm just gonna remove that. I don't know. I'm gonna bake under the contour as well. And for blush, I'll be going in with one from the e.l.f. palette. I'm just gonna take like this pink one right here. I tried this one the other day, it was nice, but I wanna try this one now. I'm using the Wet n Wild, I think this was the contour brush. It's really pretty. I forgot to set my eyelids. I feel like we've done enough baking, so now I'm just gonna remove powder from under my cheeks. I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I've heard good things about this. I went all over the place. I'm going back into my e.l.f. palette and I'm taking the highlight shade. So that's the finished face. I will be taking the NYC Individual Eyes for brown eyes. And I'll be taking this transition shade and applying it all over the crease. I'm gonna add more color to the outer V. I decided I'm gonna cut my crease with the Pro Conceal. I'm just gonna grab that brush that was in the Ellie Girl Corrector palette. Just going back in here, I'm blending everything out. That looks way better than this one, right? It makes wing eyeliner so easy. I'm gonna curl my lashes with the Tweezerman Eyelash Curler. Same shade I used for the transition color. This is my favorite product out of all of the products I used today. This is the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer by Maybelline. It's so, so good. Mine's in the shade Auburn. I'm probably gonna buy a darker shade anyway, but I still think Auburn looks good. This is my difficult brow. It never wants to look good. It's thinner than his sister. And somehow I always mess it up. And just to clean them up a little, I'm gonna go back in with the NYC palette and take that cream shade. And I'm gonna apply that to the bottom of the eyebrow. So I'm gonna go in with this lip pencil in the shade Rose. It's by Maybelline, that's all I know. It reminds me of Soar from MAC. This is the NYC Expert Lip Lacquer in the shade Bare Brooklyn.
Okay guys, so I do have some comments about the products I use today. I'm gonna start off with the shadows. The shadows were very pigmented, blendable, and super smooth on the eyes. I enjoyed them. The only bad thing about this is it has things that like, when am I ever gonna use them? Like the purple shade, I don't think I'm ever gonna use that shade. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. It's a good palette. I think it's just like the colors. It's an okay thing. I like this foundation a lot. I think the color is perfect for my skin. I think the consistency of it is good. The formula is good. The only thing is that it breaks up around my chin area. I'm gonna continue to use it because I think it's a good drugstore foundation, but I have to find a way to make it not break up on my chin. So, the mascara was super clumpy, not my favorite. This guy is amazing. It gave me a smooth canvas. I love having smooth skin to apply my foundation on top of. I know I'm super late to the baby skin game, but I still wanted to try it and it worked out for me. I mean, I don't know about the long wear and about the pore minimizing stuff because I still see my pores. I just don't see them as much. So yeah, this is a good primer. I think everyone should try it out. Especially if you have like texture on your skin. I think that did a good job with the texture. My favorite liquid eyeliner, whether it is drugstore or high-end, this guy is the best one out there. This is my absolute favorite and it's like a dollar. The e.l.f. palette was so good. Like the color of the contour shade and the blush was also great. The only thing I'm not too crazy about is the highlighter right here. You can't really see it and it's a little bit chalky if I'm being honest. I think if you wanna try something, anything that you got out of this video, try the Brow Precise by Maybelline. Don't let the brush scare you. I thought it wouldn't work really, not only because of the color, but then I saw the brush and I was a little scared to try it out. But this was the best purchase I've done in a while and super inexpensive as well. This guy is another favorite of mine, both of these actually because this one was the perfect shade for my skin and then this guy was the perfect shade to bake. And I'm not doing anything fancy or taking any photos. I think the Fit Me powder is a great thing to have around. The Maybelline lip liners remind me of the MAC lip liners. Obviously the Infallible Pro Matte is one of my faves. I love it. If you have oily skin, this is the way to go. If I'm being completely, completely honest, I think this is the mattest foundation I've ever tried and this was the only thing that worked for me for a while until I found the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Comparing it with that one, I think this one is better. Well, yeah, I think it is better. But the only thing about this is that there's no perfect shade for me, so I have to mix it with other foundations. I think I missed talking about some brushes. Either my boyfriend was coming in and out or people out there were talking, which you probably heard throughout the video, but um, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush in the number 130. This is for all over my face and to remove the baking powder. I use this e.l.f. blush brush to apply the highlighter. This is a BH Cosmetics brush which is not drugstore, but BH is super affordable, so I thought I would mix it in here too. And it doesn't have a name, it's just a brush. I think it's like a crease brush or a blending brush or whatever. That is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be posting once a week. And yeah, I'll see you next time.